How's it going on, buddy? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Today's a pretty fun one, because I get to talk about this, the new Nabali's product. Of course, if you don't know Nabali's, they're the one who makes the Wave and the Vulp for uh, Will Hirsch and Artsy. That's probably their, their biggest product is definitely the Vulp. But Nabali's came out... Nabali's has been doing great stuff for a very long time, but Nabali's recently came out with this. And this is very interesting to me for a number of reasons. But first of all, unboxing experience. Uh, fairly standard for Nabali's. You know, some spare hardware. You get extra pivots, extra screws, a little driver. You also get a driver right there, some thread locker, um, and some extra washers. You'll notice there's no extra bushings in here. That is because this is not a bushing knife. This is Nabali's, I think it's like their first one that is on entirely just washers. And that is okay because this knife is 45, excuse me, geez, $45. I keep saying knife, but it is indeed a trainer. It is fully a trainer. It is one of the trainers with a bottle opener, which is very, very nice. I love me some bottle openers. Um, and ever since uh, I first saw people put a bottle opener right here, it is definitely my favorite place for a bottle opener. Um, it's just very nice for a number of reasons. It acts as a very good bite handle indicator, just a good place to put it out of the way, and you could still do a cool blade design. Bird, can you not do that, please? That'd be super sick. Anyways, so this is the Nabali's Lightning. It is $45, available today on Amazon. And this is great, because I have been wanting a nice washer trainer to be under $50 for a while. I said it a long time ago on one of Ethan's streams when we were um, talking about like the value proposition of, maybe I even said it on a podcast, I don't remember where I said it first, but I have wanted a sub $50 washer balisong for a while because there's a lot of kids who will get a hundred bucks for Christmas and they'll go, oh, I'm going to buy a Vulp, I'm going to, whatever, whatever, you know, they get a hundred bucks for their birthday or doing chores, getting a good grade, whatever, you know, but there's also a lot of kids who will get 50 bucks, you know, their, their parents are on their birthday will, or like their grandma will hand them a $50 bill. Cool. That's awesome. And those people need something good to buy because once you have $100, you have a lot of options, especially nowadays with new stuff coming out. You are getting more and more options. Seemingly every month, there's a new $100 trainer option. But for $50, you don't have very many ideas, or very many options, sorry. So I wanted somebody to make something that was under $50, that was on washers, because personally, I think a, a well-tuned set of washers is probably not better, but um, it's as good, if not slightly better, than a really poorly tuned pair of bushings. And for fifty dollars, for under fifty dollars, there's really no way you can do very well tuned bushings just because of the amount of precision that it takes to get that done. So I was very cool with washers. I personally like washers. You know, I spent a lot of time flipping the Mako. The Mako is one of my favorite trainers. Um, and it's only on washers. I personally, I don't have a problem with washers. I find the whole tuning and cleaning part kind of enjoyable because of course I like my trainers that, that to be fair, I like mostly having my collection on bushings. That way I don't have to worry about it. But I do like one or two trainers in my collection that I can fiddle with and mess around with the tuning because the washers allow for different levels of swing. Uh, you can purposefully over tighten your knife so that, you know, it's a little bit more stiff because it, it flows better for certain kinds of flipping if the handles are a little more stiff. You know, there's a lot of different reasons that I like washers. So, a sub $50 washer trainer is something I was very excited to see. Now, this has good grip. You'll notice, or maybe you haven't noticed, but it says Nabali's on the handle, which is a little goofy, but it is actually, it's not a laser engraving, it is actually a milled texture. It's a very, it's not, um, it's fairly, it's like decently deep, but it's not like a huge thick line. It's a pretty thin line, but it is a milled texture. It does add grip. And the grip on this thing, on the front of the handles, I would argue is even better than the Vulp because there is just, the whole surface is covered. The thing with the Vulp is that it has this line in the front, in the, like the middle here. But other than that, this other like 
the other top and half bottom of the handle are just uncovered. But this has that little texture in it all the way down. And I like that. So grip wise, it's very good. The jimping on it is different than the jimping they've given us in the past. Um, it is still very, very effective though. You know, Nibali's, oh geez, it is a little slippery because it is just cheap anode aluminum. Um, so it is still fairly difficult to do ladders on. You'll see it slips out of my hands pretty, pfft, yeah. It is a very slick anno, which is something I have talked about numerous times in the Wave video, in the countless bulbs videos we've done. The, the cheap Chinese anodization is always going to be a little slippery. So this is on washers, as I said. No tap. It is fairly well tuned. Like surprisingly, there's a lot of wiggle wiggle room here. Sorry. So you do have a lot of uh, a lot of room. Um, it is T10 hardware, which is great to see. So I am kind of jumping all over the place. I'm a little uh, a little, you know, dumb. <laughs> but grip is good. You know, jimping it helps, but it is still a very slick aluminum anodization. So ladders are going to be difficult basically no matter what, unfortunately. But the uh, the jimping on this is pretty good. Um, and I think that's all kind of for grip. Nothing on the sides here, which is unfortunate, but you know, it's under $50, which is crazy. So the uh, I wanna point out really quickly, this Zen pin is kind of pushed out a little bit. It seems like it, it kind of backed out. Um, usually that's pretty easy to fix. If they do start falling out, I believe Nibali's actually uses Loctite to put them back in that's how they secure them they don't really press fit them they're just kind of loctited in there so you can always just loctite them in or worst case scenario if it really won't stay in super glue it i had to do that to my mako a long time ago i had a black mako that i had to super glue the pin inside of uh, but yeah just do that it works does a job so comfortability wise it is very comfortable except for one thing and that is that there is no rounding or crowning on the spine of the blade it is just a flat edge which i know is kind of annoying my your best bet since this is such a cheap knife and it is on washers which is one of the reasons i love washers just take it apart um just kind of take a file or take some sandpaper and just if you hold i don't know how to show it. if you hold it like between your knees something like this and then you just take sandpaper i'll give you an example so if you hold it like this and you just take sandpaper and like kind of do this with it so that it goes over the edge like that you can very very easily round that and make it a lot more comfortable which is probably what i'll end up doing um but yeah that is just one of the small downsides the actual handles are very comfortable it is very, very rounded. It is very, very smooth. Um, if any of you have ever flipped a glider Arctic, this feels like an Arctic light, um, which brings me to the flipping portion of it. It flips really, really freaking good. I'm a little sloppy because I haven't been flipping much the past couple days, um, but it is really, really good. And the reason I say it flips like an Arctic light is because it is very, it's definitely square right the handles are not circular but they are so well rounded that was a choppiest aerial ever they're so well rounded and they're so comfortable in the hands that it feels so natural and i love that about it um the balance profile it is a light handle bias it's not crazy but it is enough it's enough that fans still work very well, but stuff that I like to do, rollovers, some kind of weird scissor stuff, um, it all functions very, very well. So it is a light handle bias. It is a very nice handle bias. I really do enjoy the balance on this. Um, anyone who likes something like the Mako or the Glider Arctic uh, would probably enjoy the balance profile on this. Um, I don't know if it's a little... I'd say just the way the blade is designed, it's a little, it's differently balanced from the Vulp. They both have that light handle bias, but this has a little bit more weight towards the end. I think it has a little bit more tip weight than the Vulp does. Um, so it, it carries momentum in my opinion, just a little bit better, I guess. Uh, yeah, you can Chaplin a fair bit tighter on this. Um, yeah, you can, it's still, you can't do like really, really tight Chaplins on, on some other knives. Or like you can on some other knives, sorry, but no, it does chaplain pretty well. Um, geez, man, 
that is the uh, the slick aluminum. I have uh, a lotion that I usually wear. It's called a Vino lotion. It's what I use to heal my tattoos as well. It's a very good all-around lotion for healing tattoos or just hand lotion, whatever. Just a very, very good lotion. Um, and I find that that helps with slippery aluminum because... It, it gives you, like, if you just put, of course, if you put a lot on, it's going to be even more slippery because your hands are caked in lotion. But if you put a tiny, tiny bit on, it just kind of gives your hands a little bit of, uh, a little bit of something for the aluminum to grip onto, or rather the other way around. Um, so it just kind of helps a little bit. I didn't bring it outside with me, but it, it helps a lot. So get some of Vino if you guys, uh, if you guys have mostly aluminum trainers and you find grip to be, um, you find grip to be a little bit of an issue. Helps a lot. So... Yes. The Nibali's Lightning. I'm trying to think of what else I can talk about. Oh, this Zen nipple. Very interesting. It's like, eh, eh, eh. it's not like a wonk. It's like, eh, 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 which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. I think it's a, it doesn't, it's not pinchy at all, which is great. I literally, I don't think I can pinch myself with this, even if I wanted to. Um, yeah, not pinchy at all, which is awesome. Yeah, the, the only con is just that that blade doesn't have any chamfering on it, but take some sandpaper and do it yourself. I would much, I, I would gladly have that as a con compared to some of the other things in the price range that this sits at, which a lot of, excuse me, a lot of the, uh, the trainers in the f under $50 price range that are not clones, just clones are out of this question. Uh, cl I'm sorry, clones are out of this discussion. We do not like, this is not in comparison to any clones at all, um, because I'm not a big clone supporter, but anyways, a lot of them have, they, they have the flaw of just either falling apart, not flipping well at all, or just being incredibly uncomfortable, and this has basically none of that, only thing I could possibly see is that slight uncomfortability, geez, from the unchamfered spine of the blade, but that's, that's literally it. Everything else about this trainer is super fun. I like it. I don't know what I was going for there. Um, and I think it'd be an amazing beater for people who want a dedicated beater but don't have the money for it. Um, so, yeah, this is a very, very cool trainer. Uh, Nibeli's, like, stealth dropped it. They didn't do any, any like, teaser or anything as far as I'm aware. My left hand is still a little sloppy. But Nibeli's just kind of came out with this thing, and I think that's super cool. Um, yeah, this is definitely a good product. I'm a huge fan of it. I actually really like this. The more I flip it, the more I just really enjoy the balance of it. Um, and I can't even double scissor. But, yeah, it's just really cool. I think it's a great... No, I can't do it. I think it's a great super low-budget trainer and an under $50 um, washer trainer is something I've wanted for a while. I've been dropping this it's still no tap. I got some carbon honey in there, so that probably helps. Uh, it came from the factory completely dry, so uh, this one does not come with any oil. The new Vulps come with a small vial of Super Lube, which I think is awesome, but these do not come with anything, uh, and they do come from the factory pretty dry, so keep that in mind. You will need oil when you get this out of the box. Um, but, oh jeez. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very cool. I'm very happy with it. I think that Nibali's made a another banger product, and it's cool. I love to see that. Um, yeah, the uh, the texturing is nice. It's very grippy. Um, amazing tolerances for a fifty dollar washer ballast song. It fl this is the biggest thing is that it flips really good. That is something like, you know, if you've ever had some of those older like. It's getting a lot, lot less common now that some better stuff is coming out. But if you've ever had a lot of those older, um, like, Amazon trainers, they just did not flip very good. They were either tiny, they're literally, like, that size, just, like, th not even three-fourths of this thing. This is almost a full-size ballast tank, by the way. It's I, I Another reason I compare it to the Arctic Light is it feels about the same size as the Arctic as well. So, um, if, if you like the Glider Arctic and you want a cheaper, beater version of it that you can just... Uh, it won't have the same tuning, of course, because this is only on washers, but it kind of feels similar to that in, like, a lighter and cheaper package just for whatever purpose. You will like this thing. So, 
Yeah, where was I even going with that? I had a point, and then I lost it. Anyways, I'm stupid. Um, but yeah. Thank you to Nibelis for sending one of these out to me. They also sent me some other stuff, which you will see very soon. Just give it a little bit more time, and you will see. Make sure you subscribe, because that has something to do with the other stuff. <laughs> hint, 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 hint. Hint, 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 wink, wink. Wink, wink, hint, hint. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching and tuning in. Thank you for all the support on Blade Bias recently. Uh, and just in general, thank you for the support on Blade Bias. Yeah, this is sick. I am a huge fan of this. I think it's a very cool trainer. I think it's a very good price point to have something in. Um, it's holding its tolerances. Yeah, I've been dropping it and still no tap. So good sign, good sign considering some trainers. The original Vulp, I dropped it like two or three times and it started to get tapped, which is why I say well-tuned washers. Well-tuned washers are better than poorly tuned bushings in my opinion. Um, and the newer Vulps, because I do have one new one sitting in my room. I'm waiting on a second one for some special stuff, but I do have one brand new one. Um, I flipped that and I dropped it a few times on the carpet that's in my, that's in my room, and it hasn't developed any tap. Play hasn't worsened at all, so they seem to have done a lot better on their tuning. I'll do a little update review on the Vulps, um, uh, once the, uh, the other stuff comes in for the special guy. Uh, which you'll see. You'll see. You know, you'll see. I need to stop talking about it before I leak everything. You will see. But, yeah. Um, oof. Yeah, this thing is holding up very well. One final tap. Let me see if I can shake it aggressively. No, like, I am trying. Like, I am trying. Oh! Ugh. I can't do it. It got a little bit of a ding there, like one singular tap, and that is it. No, this thing is rock solid. Um, it's feeling very good, especially after I put some carbon honey in there. It flips and it feels very, very nice. Ooh, sloppy, man. Let me get better with my left, ow! Yeah, this thing will bite you, so. Uh, it's not sharp, but it's just like weirdly uncomfortable when it grips onto you like that. So, um, yeah. Keep that in mind. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Shout out to that car. It's very cool, thank you. Very loud. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry for the huge ramble. Ow. Uh, yeah, see you guys all very soon. Go buy one. They're available on Amazon. It's called the Nibali's Lightning. And I will talk to you all again pretty soon. Peace out.